We see the end result of couples that are head over heels all the time. But where does that begin? How do we go from being friend zone to forever? I need this information so badly. I'm your host, Ashley I, and this is the story of us. What do you have in common with each other? What really bonds you together? Video games. <laughs> Our birthdays. <laughs> we like watching sports together and hanging out. Uh, We're both like family oriented. Watching sitcoms. We have very similar sense of humor. Mm, Everything. We love food. <laughs> we just have a lot to talk about. I don't think one specific thing bonded us. What bonded us together? I don't know. Uh, our uh, taste in music. Taste in music is so entirely different. <laughs> what? <laughs> I no, we drag you to the Cruella concert last week. <laughs> you guys, look, my next question is, do you listen to the same kind of music? We like hip hop. I we like hip hop. Like similar rappers. Do you guys agree on food? Yes. Yeah, food is <laughs> major key. Food. We agree on food. And just, also we both do athletic things and go to the gym and stuff. Yeah, we go to the so gym. I guess we bond over that. Mm -hmm. Do you still date after a year? Like, still like go on? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, oh, and we yeah. just had the one year, like Sunday, so uh -huh. we went to dinner on Sunday. But um, yeah, we tend to go, We'll do a couple low-key weekends where we'll get food from somewhere, like bring it in, uh, have some drinks or whatever, and then other times we'll like go and get sushi. We do the sushi thing as our mini date thing a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. a good mini date. Yeah, it's usually quick. It's a good <laughs> yeah, first a good, date thing too. Yeah, if you're true. like, all right, let's go eat, but like let's make it quick let's see if, if it's we bad. Like each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For us, we always want to do the same thing. We're like, let's go to the Grove and like get lunch and go shopping or let's go for a hike, you know. What kind of music do you guys listen to? Do you have opposite taste? Do you have the same taste? Music taste is pretty important in a relationship. That was one of the things that we bonded over was like our both, we loved hip hop. Do you guys usually agree on music taste? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think TV shows is the only thing I don't agree oh, on. Oh, what do you watch and what do you watch? I <laughs> she watches One Tree Hill and I can't. And stand One Tree Hill is the greatest show of all it's time. It's really not the greatest yes. show of all. Time. Not if you watch it for the thirteenth time. The thing is though is he pretends to not like it, but he falls asleep to it every night, so he knows what's going on. He's like, oh, is that the guy that like had to leave and do that? Like he I knows. know what's going on because it's so predictable. I think the biggest difference is I like TV that you don't have to think a lot, Me and too. he likes TV that's like. So like in depth and I fall, yeah. the biggest joke is like I always fall asleep when watching TV so we can never watch anything together. What's your average date night look like? It's usually like we wake up, we go to Starbucks, we hike, we come home, we take a nap, we go out to dinner. <laughs> Perfect night, it's perfect like day. The, it's literally the best Saturday. I love it. Yeah. Sometimes we'll get adventurous like, oh, like I'm what, gonna sound like a Best Buy or something? <laughs> <laughs> She had way different tastes at the beginning, you know? Because I, lo I love Spanish music. Mm -hmm. She kind of likes more like Drake, um, hip-hop hip type of stuff, you know? And I didn't really listen to it, so she started getting in my car and changing my radio to it the whole time. Then I started listening to it. And now, when she gets in the car, she um, puts what I like, and I try to switch it to what she liked before. So now we kind of switched on the type of music we like. You guys are so considerate of each other. Similar in the way we approach life, similar in our faith, similar in our priorities, has made our relationship last. Yeah, but, but I also think that some of the things that make us different have been instrumental in our relationship as well because she's a planner. She is going <laughs> to check every single box and double check it. And yes. me, I'm like, uh, you know, we have a dream. We have this. We have that. Let's, let's go for it. He has the best ideas on the planet all the time, in every way. That's great. She helps take my vision and actually give us a checklist to, <laughs> to achieve <laughs> it, yeah. and then and then we go execute it. Yeah, it's so. It's perfect, because that's where we, you come together, you know, when two become one. Have you learned to love each other's tastes? No, we were literally talking about this the other day. I was talking about, oh, this band I really like came out with this album 10 years ago. And it, There's it's no just, lyrics. There's not shush, one word. Shush, shush. I'm telling you a story. And I was like, oh, you know, I, I, I love this. Like, do you, I think I said, do you understand why this is something I might like? And she was like, you're boxing me into saying that it's good. And I don't think it's good. <laughs> He listens to still a lot of EDM and then indie rock. I don't know if you listen to Brand New, 
He I'm calls, familiar. He calls them indie rock. I call them like whiny. I call people. them whiny too. Thank you. <laughs> I stand by my love of pop music. <laughs> I <don't laughs> should be friends. They're like, who's your favorite artist? Like Taylor Swift. No shame. Love like, Taylor Swift. I can love just Taylor all day long. <laughs> she calls me a music snob, he, oh, but I don't yeah. make fun of her. He does make fun of me. Respectful. And I call him a music snob just because like he knows a lot about music. But he'll be like, oh, did you know that to to compose this thing, you have to go to this one person and they equalize the volume, and I'm just like, yeah. We're both kind of like sporty-ish in a weird way. Like, he likes to snowboard, wakeboard, so we do all that like fun activity. You go to like She always wants to come learn with me and do that. Yeah, so, I just want to, yeah. you know, be adventurous. And he's de he definitely takes me out of my comfort zone because I'm always one to like keep to myself. And he's always like, let's go, let's go. You guys have the same taste in music? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pretty basically. Much. I, because I, I'm going with the flow, like, so I listen to whatever. Okay. He would have listened to like heavy, like metal, like punk rock kind of she, stuff. Yeah, listen to new age stuff with her. Anything just drive you nuts when he plays something in the car and you're like, oh, it's so bad. It's more his dancing. Yeah, I'm a horrible dancer. It's just like, <laughs> ah. We're, we're on the <laughs> exactly, just like that. I think it's cute though. I just let him be. I'm like, go, baby, go. <laughs> big football person and surprisingly enough she loves football as well. Us football girls like we know what's going on right? like it's such a good way to get in with guys. I know it actually is. <laughs> I was like it's so easy. <laughs> I got this and get unlocked. <laughs> yeah. I know I love to impress them with my knowledge like right off the bat I'm like so who's your team and then I can like yeah. spit off some stuff and then I got them around my finger. Right like I don't have like the whole roster memorized like this guy does yeah, no. but no. Nah. <laughs> I'm like I don't know the cute one with the tight pants. Exactly. Like. <laughs> it's like I have my favorites on yeah. each team. I I get enough. I yes, know enough. Exactly. Guys have the same taste in music? Uh, <laughs> no. He, <laughs> he really likes country music, which it's like, ugh. No. I don't like that. No. I like country. Yeah. What do you like? Um, like indie, kind of like pop rock sort of stuff. So do we no. fight over the radio and the aux cord? No, he's normally pretty. I'm flexible. He I, is. I enjoy country, but I listen to everything. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't try to listen to country when I'm in the car. <laughs> no. I know how that goes. So, so respectful. <laughs> yeah, right. It is finally time to play a little game that we like to call relationship status. Who's your celebrity hall pass? <laughs> Don't give me a whack hall pass. And you know who I want. Don't give me a whack hall pass. <laughs> Ready? Kevin Hart. Ew! <laughs> no! What no, is I'm it joking, really? I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh. He just knows that would be my hall pass because I would never. The Rock? Yeah. What is your partner's greatest fear or phobia? I'm just gonna like put something that I think might be. Yeah, me too. Clowns? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I put plane crash. I mean, who's not scared of a plane crash? <laughs> I think natural disasters, natural disasters are my biggest fear because you can't control them. Yeah. What does your partner think they are an expert on? <gasps> Audio stuff. <laughs> Is that accurate? I think I'm an expert. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on The Story of Us. I can't wait to continue to explore these love stories and putting couples on the spot when it comes to their relationship. See you next time. can't get enough love in your life, well be sure to like this video and subscribe. You won't want to miss what we have coming up next on The Story of Us.